In a previous video in Veritas Backup Exec 16, I ran an inventory of the storage, and that just basically gives us a listing of a usable drive or tape or whatever it is you're using for Backup Exec to see so it knows that it has a viable source for restoring data. Now we need to go one step further before we can restore any of that data. And let's go ahead and click back on storage again. And we need to create a catalog. So a catalog has to be done after the inventory. The catalog then takes a, a listing of all of the data that's on the device and makes it available so it can be restored. So if you take a, a hard disk or a disk storage from another backup exec server and you plug it into a new backup exec server, if you don't run the inventory and then the catalog, it won't know what's on it, so it can be restored. So all we have to do after running our inventory, which we did earlier, is to click Catalog, which is Next. And we'll just leave the default name and click OK. And now it's running the catalog. Now catalogs take longer than inventories. Inventories are fairly quick, but a catalog, what it does is it searches every single file on that disk drive until it finds everything it needs and then it's it's available for you to restore. So now we can go ahead and click on restore and we should be able to see the different data that's on it. So right now it says that it doesn't have any backup sets to restore from, but let's go ahead and choose the server that we want and then we can go ahead and do that. There we go. So let's go ahead and right click and choose restore. We know we have data from that particular server. Let's click files, folders, and volumes just so we can see what's on it. And we'll hit expand. And there's all our data. So the catalog basically pulled all that data off of the disk drive and made it available. So now we can restore some files. And there's our files. So that is how to catalog a disk device in Veritas Backup Exec 16.